Am I the asshole for what I said after my husband commented on my flat chest? My husband Jared and I have been married for three years. He's currently out of work, used to work at a high-paying job but got kicked out the company over a fight with a co-worker, and I'm the one paying for rent and utilities. We dedicate some time to see his family weekly. They don't know he's unemployed because he thought they'll see him as a failure especially his mom so he told me to keep it a secret. Last night we were sitting eating dinner at the table. His cousin was talking about his fiance going to Brazil to do a boob job. Jared asked if he was serious then, flattered, FSIL's boobs saying they're perfect and that he didn't understand why she'd get a boob job. He then turned to me, stared at my chest while I was eating like an idiot, I have a flat chest, I'm insecure about it but can't do anything about it obviously, and said, hey why don't you get a boob job, you're the one who needs it the most, his mom gasped and was like, Jared. I said, it's fine. I then turned to him and said, I'll get a boob job once you get an actual job since you've been unemployed for six months now dollar. He stared at me in disbelief. His mom began questioning him about being unemployed and he denied 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 then admitted it was true. It got awkward with his mom scolding him and others shaming him for it and for hiding it. He got so overwhelmed he went outside and stayed inside the car till I came. He started yelling at me repeatedly, you couldn't have held your effing tongue? and accused me of turning his family against him and having them jugged then shun him now he can't even step a foot in their house from shame and guilt. I argued that his comment about my chest was insulting, but he said he was giving me a piece of advice and that there is nothing wrong with him wanting me to look pretty and that he said what he said out of support and encouragement, but I what I did was the complete opposite and that it was intended to hurt him and I succeeded. He dropped me off at home then went to stay with his buddies. I called him later thinking he calmed down but his friend said he didn't want to speak to me and I shout give him space. So he got fired for an argument with a co-worker and kept it a secret insulted your body in front of his family and then tried to spin it as a piece of advice given out of support and encouragement yelled at you and asked why you couldn't have held your effing tongue. Not the asshole. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Lots of good comments down thread on points that I missed including calling FSIL's boobs, perfect, in front of his family, and insinuating that Op wasn't pretty with a small chest. Op also clarified that he was fired from his job for accusing a co-worker of unethical behavior and violating their privacy by snooping in an attempt to prove this. Let me get this straight. You have been keeping a roof over your heads, paying for this man's life, lying to protect his ego, and he sat there and insulted you over a known insecurity not just to your face, but in front of his family? I am somehow not shocked he lost his last job over conflict with someone else. Not the asshole. Divorce him and, if you want new boobs for yourself, buy them with the divorce settlement, but either way you definitely need a dick reduction procedure. Not the asshole whatsoever. He fucked around and he found out. You should give him space. Permanent space, away from you. Girl, not the asshole. Call him back and tell his friends they can come pick up his stuff. He's not paying for rent anyway. You're perfect the way you are and instead need someone that sees you for you. You were just encouraging him to get a job. Not the asshole. Edit. Gosh thanks for the awards you guys. Please have a beautiful day. Oh not the asshole. He seriously thinks he was just, giving you advice, by telling you to go get a boob job? You've been supporting his dead weight for 6 months because he's ashamed of being out of work and couldn't control his temper at work. Now he's embarrassing you in front of his family and trying to pressure you into plastic surgery so you'll look pretty. Let him stay with his friend. Someone else can support his insensitive, deadbeat ass for a while. Get a divorce. Seriously? This is not a man who's worth a damn. He wants you to keep his unemployment a secret, to protect his ego, tears you down, again. Likely to make himself feel better whilst you're covering everything. And when you don't stand for it, tried to frame his insult as advice, and takes off acting as the injured party. Change the locks. I mean it. It gets no better from here. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for saying that I wouldn't be playing mom with my ex's affair baby? My ex-husband and I divorced four years ago because he cheated. He had an affair baby, Juniper, three yoff, with the other woman but Juniper's mom passed away when she was one yo. Aside from my ex-husband and his family, she doesn't have anyone else because her mom grew in the system. He and I have four kids, Joshua 20M, Cassidy 16F, Nate 11M and Jacob 8M. When we divorced Joshua cut him off and Cassidy followed him soon after, they don't visit him anymore and has never met Juniper, 
He has always blamed me for that because, I kept his children away. He might be an awful husband and partner, but he's an awesome dad. I'll give him that much. Nate and Jacob still visits him and are close with his baby. I tried once to take the three of them out when she was younger but it wasn't for me. I know she's blameless but I can't separate her from my ex's betrayal. So no every time I pick Nate and Jacob up I try not to engage much. If she says hi, I say hi back, if she waves, I do too, but nothing more. Now, every time I pick them up, she starts to mumble, mama, mama. I've tell her things like, no juniper, I'm not your mom. Call me, my name, I'm fine with that. Last time she actually ran at me calling me mama and began to cry when I didn't pick her up and took her with me. Listen, I don't think my ex is telling her to call me mom, but that's how Nate and Jacob acts, especially Jacob, he runs at me saying, mom mom and hugs me so i guess she's copying his behavior yesterday my son spent easter with my ex's family and juniper ran at me again i said hi and my ex asked for a second which i said yes he basically told me that seeing me picking the boys up being affectionate and loving with them is confusing and hurting juniper she's a baby and she doesn't understand what's happening so he asked me if i could just take her with me for a few days like i do with the boys and maybe over the time let her call me mom I said absolutely no, that I'm sorry for Juniper, but that I won't be playing mom with her and that I'm only keeping a relationship with both of them because of our sons. He called me heartless and pointed out how she cries when I leave without her but I said that it wasn't my problem and that he should deal with that. He later sent a video of Juniper crying by the door and said, I hope you're happy, so. Am I the asshole? I mean I know it's not her fault, but isn't mine either. It's a shame you can't divorce him twice. Not the asshole. I think I've seen your ex's balls outside of a target. I'm so sorry this baby is hurting. She's of the age where I'm sure she's trying to figure out her little world. Part of that is copying her big brothers, and I commend you for shutting her down kindly. But your ex is a piece of work. He cannot ask you to support him. And he definitely cannot ask you to take this kid off his hands. He had a supportive parenting partner and he threw it all away when he cheated on you. Not the asshole. Your ex has his own special seed in hell for his manipulation of this situation. Yes, the child is blameless but your ex made his bed, now he gets to lay in it. And I'll bet 100 reddit dollars that he doesn't actually gaff about, how sad Juniper is. He just wants a break from being a full-time parent and is trying to weasel that break from you. Not the asshole but there is another, simpler solution here. Let him pick up and drop off his sons while someone watches Juniper at home. Poor little girl. My heart goes out to her. But it also goes out to you. Op. This isn't a mess of your making. No reason for anyone to stick the broom and dustpan in your hand for the clean up. Not the asshole. Your ex is such a shitty father. Wow. Dot. He could easily take Juniper on a walk or leave the house to do something fun with her 15 minutes before you pick up the boys so she doesn't have to see you. He's completely abdicating his role as a father to that little girl. Of course she's confused. Instead of protecting her he's setting her up for disappointment. Also, good for you for setting a boundary. This is something that's only going to get harder as she gets older if you start letting her call you mom. Here's where this would lead. Why do brothers get to spend more time with you mommy? Do you love them more? Why weren't you at my ballet practice? Pretending is cruel and solves nothing. Your ex is being such an asshole. Not the asshole but your ex is an absolute gem. Trying to guilt you into taking over parental duties for the kid he had while cheating on you? That's some stratospheric levels of asshole right there. Holy moly. NTA, take her for a couple days? I think he is tired of being a single dad and wants you to give him a break by encouraging this behavior. He sucks. Not the asshole. It's not her fault, but isn't mine either, of course not, it's her father's fault. And be sure to remind him every time he brings it up. Am I the asshole for telling my brother that it's his fault that our mom is sick? I, 16M, have an older brother, 20M. Two years ago, before going to college, he came out to our parents as gay, which made our dad to disown him and cut all contact with him. He tried to force our mom to cut contact with him as well, but she refused, which led to a huge argument between them. After a couple of months of almost daily fights, our parents eventually decided to divorce. Soon after, mom started feeling sick and she was eventually diagnosed with breast cancer in stage 3. Dad was only paying for my alimony and refused to pay for my mom's treatment as well and my brother obviously couldn't pay either cause of his college taxes. 
My mom's disease progressed and now the doctors estimate that she only has one, max one, five years left to live. My mom accepted her fate, but I honestly started to resent my brother for this, as I don't see what was the point of him coming out right before going to college in another city. It's not like our dad wouldn't been able to keep track of who's dating once he moved there and his coming out only caused problems in the long run. My brother told me on the phone that he feels so bad about our mom's situation and he blames himself for not being able to help her, which made me told him that he should blame himself for coming out to our homophobic dad, which destroyed our parents' marriage and probably even got our mom sick of cancer due to all the stress caused by the divorce. My brother told me that he was still hoping that our dad would come around and that he wouldn't have done it if he knew it was gonna cause our parents' divorce, but I told him that the harm's already done and it's his fault that our mom's sick now. He started crying and told me that I'm a cunt for thinking that his sexual orientation is what caused our mom's cancer and then hung up on me. But honestly, if he hadn't come out, our parents wouldn't have divorced and even if mom would have still get cancer in this case, at least dad would have been there to pay for her treatment and thus he might have still been able to save her, so I really think my brother should have postponed his coming out for a couple more years at the very least. Am I the asshole? My brother's gay gave my mom cancer. Are you FC King serious? You not just an asshole you're the asshole. Yes, you are the asshole. Your brother had no way of predicting that your mom would need cancer treatments and be unable to afford them because of the divorce. It's cruel to blame him for something nobody could foresee. Being in the closet contributes significantly to LGBT suicides. Your brother was finally in a position where he wouldn't have to live with your homophobic father, so he came out because it was finally safe. If you want somebody to blame, how about your father, who blew up his own family and abandoned your mother, all because he got upset about your brother being gay? You are the asshole stress doesn't cause stage 3 cancer. That is a delusional thought process, and it seems you might be just as homophobic as your father. I really hope you seek psychiatric help, because that is an absolutely horrific thing to put on your brother's conscience. I'm sorry, but you are the asshole. I understand that this hard for you and that you are worried about your mother. But this isn't your brother's fault and it's really messed up to blame him for it. For one this is not how cancer works. Being sad or stressed isn't the source and reason for this kind of illness. The biggest asshole is of course your father. For disowning your brother and for not helping your mother right now. Please apologize to your brother and talk to your mother or maybe to a therapist about your feelings. You are the asshole. You seem to think your brother knew this would happen when he came out, which is nonsense. Plus, he has the right to be honest and open about who he is. Living a lie is horrible. He didn't cause the cancer, he didn't cause the divorce. I know you're angry that your mum is dying, and it's a horrible thing for you to go through, but don't turn your anger on your brother. You are the asshole and you know it. You're grieving and it can make you say things you really don't mean. But considering you still don't know if you're an asshole it makes me think grief isn't the only reason for what you said. First, it's not your brother's fault he's gay. Second, he came out when it felt right. You're an asshole for making him feel guilty for this. Third, your parents' divorce is solely on your father. Fourth, your mother getting sick is no one's fault. You don't get cancer for being stressed. Fifth, your mother not being able to afford the treatments is on your government for acting like health is a privilege and not a right. You are a big asshole and should apologize to your brother as soon as possible, hoping he forgives you. By the way, even if it were his fault, you'd be an asshole for saying it. I'm really sorry about your mother but you are the asshole, divorce doesn't cause cancer, and having a gay son shouldn't cause a divorce. Your brother is losing his mother too and you should support one another through this awful tragedy. No one is to blame, it just plain sucks. Holy fuck yes you are the asshole? Cancer doesn't work like that. And even if it did it's not your brother's fault that your dad is homophobic. Seriously what the fuck? Am I the asshole for being mad that my husband is trying to financially edge me out of my expensive hobby? The backstory. My husband and I have always had joint accounts and up until last year when our third child was born, we made about the same amount of money. We made the decision that I would leave my FT job and work PRN so we could avoid the costs of daycare. This has cut my income in half. In addition, last year my husband started running a successful eBay store. He opened a separate account that I have no access to at all, and he started taking extra money from his paychecks each week and depositing it into that account as well. He uses that money on whatever he wants. I manage our finances, budget and pay all of our bills. 
I don't have a separate personal account so all of my money is poured into our mutual accounts and he can see all of my spending. I keep spreadsheets that he has full access to but never looks at. We have savings and basically no debt aside from a mortgage and my students' loans. And now, I am a very active jiu-jitsu competitor and go to tournaments frequently. I would probably call BJJ an expensive hobby. The last few weeks several entry fees came due at once totaling close to $600. I have always cleared with him that I am going to do a certain tournament before I sign up and then I build the fees into the budget. This was no different. And other than jiu-jitsu I don't really spend money on anything else. He texted me while I was at work yesterday saying, not really happy about your excessive spending recently. I think you should get your own account with an allowance to pay for this stuff. This was shocking to me because this has never been a problem until yesterday and I've never spent so much money on BJJ that we can't save or pay our bills. Then he told me that he bought a car a few weeks ago with his personal funds. I feel like he is trying to control me and financially edge me out of my hobby that he knows I love. I can give myself an allowance out of each of my paychecks but I make a lot less money than him and pretty much all of it goes to bills so it would take me longer to save for each tournament and I would have to do way fewer per year. If I want to do jiu-jitsu, I have to rely financially on him to do so, and again, it's never been a problem until yesterday because up until last year I made just as much money as him. Our mutual decision for me to leave my job only affects my paycheck. He can spend money on whatever he wants, like a car without any oversight or accountability because he has his eBay store that he makes. Money from each month, he never tells me but I'd say it's prob about $1,000 per mo. Anyway, it started a big fight. He said he doesn't have to rely on me financially for his hobbies so I shouldn't have to rely on him financially for mine, that our mutual money should go to bills and the kids only. Who's the ah? Not the asshole. I would be high-tailing it back to full-time work and he can start contributing to daycare for the kids if he suddenly thinks your quality of life should diminish with your income. Your contribution to the household is far more than just the dollars and cents but if he's trying to make it about the raw numbers, shit is not going right and you need to protect yourself. Unless his day job is allowing him to conduct his eBay business during his work hours, his side hustle is costing your family so he can't just claim it's his to keep. Not the asshole. Sounds to me that he is taking steps to leave and you probably should as well. He's already separated his finances from yours and is further cutting you off from any of his income. Not the asshole. But your husband is hiding something. I have no idea what and I'm not going to speculate. But for him to suddenly change his stance and unilaterally decide that you two should have separate finances. There's always a reason for someone's behavior. Not reason as in an excuse, but a motivation for why they're engaging in that behavior. Your husband has some motivation for wanting separate finances. To an outsider, i.e., me, it seems like he's trying to make you financially independent from him I'd love to know why that's suddenly so important to him. Tell him the average salary of a live in nanny, at least in my state, is 40k yearly so you'll be waiting to see him pay for your services that'll go into your allowance. Seriously, you're working part-time so you can raise your children, and he still expects the same contributed to bills? Lawyer up. Not saying divorce but he needs to get a couple more brain cells for this to work out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Put the kid in daycare and go back to work full time. Open up a savings account. Put a certain amount of money in at each paycheck. And save up so you have a safety net for divorce. Not the asshole. Bill him for the childcare services you have been providing. Not the asshole. Sorry but I would lawyer up. You quit your FT job to avoid daycare costs for three kids giving up your income and he still expects you to pay the same amount for everything. Then he starts stashing money into a separate account you can't touch. I would not put up with this. I would stop paying the bills out of your money and tell him you either go back to work FT or he starts paying up and if you do go back to work he can pay for childcare and most of the bills since he has plenty of money stashed. If he argues then honestly I would tell him that you will let a lawyer figure it out during the divorce then. This is definitely financial abuse. Not the asshole. Go back to paying work and make sure he's paying at least half of the childcare and cleaning costs. Or, make an agreement with him where he pays you a market rate for childcare and housekeeping. Or, he can stay home with the kids. He seems to have lost all respect for you as a result of your mutual decision and completely fails to appreciate how much he financially benefits from the services you provide. Also, the eBay income is community property.